don't really even have a country anymore. We just have a dictatorship. You know, we don't have a country that's constitutional republic. We have a third world banana republic. Once again, this is Kit Daniels with Infowars.com. Well, if voters needed one more red flag to underscore the fact that Hillary Clinton is totally incompetent, there's some news coming out today that should, you know, help justify that. Now, obviously, the State Department under Clinton is largely responsible for the power vacuum there uh, with taking Gaddafi out in Libya, which has, of course, led to this rise in terrorist activity, which has spread to the West. So, I mean, that is the land of unconfirmed. Yes, vacuum. we came. We saw <laughs> he died. <laughs> did it have anything to do with your visit? No, oh, I'm sure it did. <laughs> So Clinton, as well as British Prime Minister Tony Blair, were warned by Gaddafi himself. He actually issued a prophetic warning to Tony Blair uh, that jihadists would attack Europe if his regime was allowed to collapse. Now, these are according to phone conversations between the two that have just been re revealed today. Now, Gaddafi's dire prediction was made in two desperate telephone calls uh, on February 25th, 2011, as a civil war was engulfing Libya. In the first phone call, Gaddafi said, they want to control the Mediterranean, and then they will attack Europe. He insisted that he was trying to defend Libya from al-Qaeda fighters. Uh, Gaddafi said, we are not fighting them, they are attacking us. I want to tell you the truth. It is not a difficult situation at all. The story is simply this. An organization has laid down sleeping cells in North Africa called Al-Qaeda uh, organization in North Africa. The sleeping cells in Libya are similar to dormant cells in America before 9-11. And in a second call he made just over four hours later, he said that he was going to have to arm the people and get ready for a fight. Libyan people will die. Damage will be on the Med, Europe and the whole world. These armed groups are using the situation as a justification and we shall fight them. So Gaddafi, even in these phone calls, he said, please invite the journalists in. They can report on this so you'll know that this is the truth that I'm speaking. This is the situation. And of course, three weeks later, a NATO led coalition began bombing raids that led to the overthrow of Gaddafi. And this dictator was finally deposed in August and murdered by a mob in October. Now, Mr. Blair had actually developed a friendship with Gaddafi and he cleared these phone calls with David Cameron and Hillary Clinton, and he was attempting to persuade Gaddafi to leave Libya and um, give him some safe passage to avoid further conflict. Obviously, we all know what the outcome was of that. Now stick around because we are going to be talking about uh, the raping of Europe's women and how some people are fighting back. Shane Steiner's involvement with InfoWarsLife.com truly happened in an organic way. I went to high school with Shane, his brother, knew his parents well, and he was visiting the office once, hadn't been to the office in years, and said, wow, I notice you're making and selling supplements. Do these really work? Because I've tried a lot of supplements as a, a workout enthusiast, and I really think most of them are hype. And I said, here, take some home, try it. Well, a few weeks later, he came in blown away and said, I want to buy three boxes of this stuff to get my friends and family. It's simply amazing. He said, why does it work so well? And I said, listen, go to InfoWarsLife.com, watch the informational videos with Dr. Group and others. They understand how it all works. I know that it works for me. That's all I understand. The science, the facts, the research, people's testimonials, they're all on InfoWarsLife.com. You can check it out for yourself. I wanted to go to the gym. I wanted to push myself and work out harder. And that led to me being able to come out and do stuff like the barefooting and the surfing and stuff like that, which what I would have never done. I, I never would have done that uh, two years ago. Shane has said over and over again, more than just libido and energy, it made him want to get into the gym more. It made him want to get in better shape. And believe me, the Steiners have amazing genetics. Uh, his brother is a world champion steer wrestler. His dad, Bobby Steiner, is a famous world champion bull rider. They've got natural genetics. But when you added this to the mix, in Shane's own words, it took him to the next level. Shane noticed the mental clarity, 
Bobby was able to work out longer and gain muscle mass. He's already completely shredded. I gotta admit, for me, the biggest effect has been libido. Now, I've never claimed to have a body like some beach model, but back when I was 20, 22 years old and worked out every day, I looked great. But over the years, and being married, having three kids, and working 18 hours a day, I gained basically 100 pounds. And it's been a long process of losing that weight in the last four years. But if you look at the photos and the videos of what I looked like four or five years ago versus today, the results are dramatic. I'd already cleaned up my diet, I was working out hard, but I'd only lost about 20 pounds. It was adding the other key ingredients ingredients from InfoWarsLife.com that helped me personally go to the next level and shed another 35 pounds. This has actually made me feel so good that uh, here lately, about a year ago, I started training jujitsu and that kind of led to doing some boxing and kickboxing. I mean, it's, it's amazing that two years ago I was on the couch and couldn't even tie my shoes. And now I'm training with MMA fighters and uh, just doing stuff that I never thought that I'd, I would be doing ever again. So Super Male Vitality has allowed me to do some amazing things. And if it has those kind of effects for me, I know that it will do great things for you. So just try Super Male Vitality. I promise you, you'll love it. And finally, let's look at Anthony Gucciardi, InfoWars.com reporter. He also works with Dr. Group and others helping develop the newest, most cutting edge, high quality supplements. Let's take a look at what happened when he tried to barefoot ski for the first time with the Steiners. And remember, we're not making fun of him. He had the will to get in the arena, and he's lost more than 10 pounds in the last few years of fat and gained more than 10 pounds of muscle. And Anthony chalks it up to super male vitality as well. Bottom line, folks, you want to discover the power of super male vitality and super female vitality for yourself by visiting InfoWarsLife.com today or by calling toll free 888 253 3139. Well, before the break, I talked to you about some revealing telephone calls between Colonel Gaddafi and Tony Blair, in which he said, If you guys take me out, then there is going to be a power vacuum. It's going to lead to a rise in Islamic terrorism, which will eventually spread to Europe. Well, now that prof prophetic warning is coming true. Islamic migrants are waving jihad on women. And it appears that government officials are also collaborating there in Europe. German officials have reportedly been told to cover up crimes committed by migrants in order to avoid spreading panic among the population. No arrests have been made so far in Cologne following all of those sexual assaults that took place on New Year's Eve. So now it's being reported that there was actually uh, New Year's migrant sex assaults taking place in every major German city on New Year's Eve. So hundreds of these assaults have now been reported to police. Um, a bouncer who was actually working at a nearby hotel during this mass molestation of women revealed how police told him they thought the situation resembled a civil war. And contrary to a lot of the downplayed media reports, senior police officers say that they feared some fatalities were actually going to result from all of the chaos that was going on there in the square um, there in Cologne. They were lighting off fireworks and crowds of people and the fireworks were just, you know, being set off in, in huge crowds. And then so as people would try to run away from these fireworks being set off, uh, groups would surround the women and, of course, sexually assault them. And so these events were downplayed by the German media until scores of women came forward reporting this. And the, the German ministers, they initially said, there's no evidence that asylum seekers were involved in this violence, but the media's attempt to cover up this widespread rape by migrants in Europe is now beginning to unravel. A police official said that 14 of the 15 sex attackers that he personally apprehended were newly arrived Syrian refugees. They actually had their papers with them. And according to a leaked police report, it claims that one of those that was involved in the attacks told officers, I am Syrian. 
you have to treat me kindly, Mrs. Merkel invited me. So basically just thumbing their nose to the police officers there, sexually assaulting women, um, and telling everyone that basically welcomed them, op open their country, giving them free welfare, and, and saving them um, from you know th their refugee status. And they're just basically thumbing their nose at people. And, you know, as we pointed out before, about 70 percent of the more than a million people that have been invited into Germany have been young men who are of fighting age. Meaning, why are they not fighting these militants that are taking over their country? Why are they leaving women and children there to be victimized by ISIS? So, you know, that's just one observation there. Uh, but the German chancellor um, she has even come out and said, you know, we have to just understand that these migrants are just going to be a little bit more criminal than us and everyone just needs to calm down. But if you need any more proof that there is a concerted effort to cover this up, Germany's largest broadcaster, ZDF, actually apologized for not reporting on these sexual assault uh, attacks. Now, editors of the network's nightly news show, confessed to not covering the attacks despite knowing the magnitude and severity of the events. And leaked police documents also confirm that authorities held back on reporting the information to the public as well. And they did that until the media actually broke the story on Monday, which was four days after these attacks took place. So the editors there said, the new situation was clear enough. It was a mistake of of the 7 p.m. show not to at least report the incidents. But here's what's interesting is that the police actually went so far as to issue a New Year's Day s uh, statement saying that there was a relaxed atmosphere in the city center. They blatantly lied and said it was everything was great. It was so relaxed. What a wonderful New Year's Eve celebration we've had here. So they were actively trying to cover this up. And we've reported this before that they have been covering up the mass amount of sexual assaults and rapes that are going on um, due to these migrant crises here. Now, after the only reason that they now issued this apology and then came out and said, oh, OK, you know, you guys are right. Some stuff really, really bad stuff did actually go down is because more than 60 complaints were filed by women. And they were also going online and uh, just saying, why isn't anyone talking about this and, and just explaining how they were sexually assaulted. So then that was when the state police chief came clean and he said the events were of a new dimension in crime. So he actually comes out. So, no, it wasn't a relaxed atmosphere in the city. Some officials that were there were actually fearing uh, that there was going to be a civil war and, and fatalities, you know. And then he says, you know, it's a new dimension in crime. Now, the mayor of Cologne has actually come under fire. This woman, <laughs> she she actually suggested that women protect themselves from would be rapists by keeping them at arm's length. This is actually what she came out and said. And she also suggests a code of conduct needs to be created for women and girls. So we've already reported on this before, telling young girls not to wear skirts, not to wear things. Basically, don't, don't ask for it. Don't ask to get raped. And victim blaming here. And, you know, basically, why don't you just go ahead and make the burqa mandatory? Maybe that'll stop them from being raped, right? Um, then they won't be asking for it. And, of course, there is no word here from the mayor on, you know, how to teach migrants not to rape women. So I guess there are going to be a little cultural education there for these people. But that's not it. So we also have the Green Party's Claudia Roth warning citizens against linking the crime to migrants. And then there's another German minister who came out and said, critics of the refugee program are at least as awful as migrant rapists. So if you're going online into these chat rooms and criticizing the migrants here, you are a rapist. I mean, you are an equivalent to a rapist. So they're basically saying that, you know, that mass criticizing this mass immigration is as bad as sexually assaulting dozens of women in cities across Germany. So it's just basically ludicrous. So, you know, who decided that protecting Islam's image is paramount and it trumps everyone's concerns? Breitbart is actually reporting that the German government's demand that social media giants Google, Facebook and Twitter remove what it calls anti-migrant hate speech is actually having its first real test in the wake of these 
attacks in Cologne over New Year's Eve. So they also point out how moderators on the link sharing and discussion site Reddit have already begun deleting dozens of links and comments about immigrant gang violence after these sexual assaults. And this is, of course, and they're saying it's an attempt to clamp down on vileness. And it hasn't gone unnoticed. People are in these chat rooms going, what the heck? Why are you censoring all of my information there? So they're not only active 